From maggots removed from a girl's gums to tapeworm eggs found in a man's head, here's 11 terrifying bug infestations. Number 11, giant hornets kill grandma. The date is September 2017. It was a typical day for Miss Chico Kiyuchi, an 87-year-old wheelchair-bound retiree. Her medical appointment at a care center in Western Japan had ended. She was heading home escorted by a personal helper. Then, out of nowhere, ferocious giant hornets descended on the duo. Grandma was left to ward off the swarm of thumb-sized bugs after her helper escaped. Okay, pause. The helper just ditched this old lady? Wow. Nursing staff who witnessed the incident could do nothing but watch as the hornets had formed a thick cloud around her. They phoned for emergency services, but the firefighters and paramedics arrived without protective gear. They were unable to get near her and were forced to watch for 50 minutes as the hornets stung her. She died the following day due to organ failure. She had been stung over 150 times. Giant hornets kill about 30 to 50 people each year in Japan, with most deaths caused by severe allergic reactions to their deadly toxin. Number 10. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The date is January 2016. Cindy Alvilia, a Florida resident, slept soundly at the Atlantis Paradise Resort in the Bahamas. As she arose from a deep sleep to find her skin covered in hundreds of painful bed bug bites from her forehead to her thighs. Freaked out, she called two staff members to the room. They screamed when they saw the bed bugs creeping all over the mattress. Despite the resort's nurse treating her bites, she told the media, in the days that followed, I have never experienced more pain. She went on to say, I didn't sleep for five days. I wanted to die. The resort didn't charge her and her husband for the two-night stay at the room. Well, I would think not, right? And they even offered to reimburse all of her medical bills. She turned on the offer and sued them. Yeah, girl. In actuality, bedbugs have become more common than free Wi-Fi in the hotel industry. A study by pest control leader Orkin in 2017 found that 8 in 10 hotels have dealt with bedbugs in the past year. Hotels have claimed that it's the guests who bring the bedbugs. This epidemic plagues even five-star hotels. So, before settling into a hotel room, check the mattress, the armchair, and the couches. Hey, if you're new to the channel, what's up? Welcome. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Number 9. The Grasshopper Plague of 1874 In 1874, farmers in Kansas were anticipating a bumper harvest. Out of nowhere, millions of Rocky Mountain locusts descended on the prairies from the Dakotas to Texas. The invasion began in late July, and the invaders came with an extraordinary appetite. They ate the crops, including apple trees, buckwheat, barley, melons, tobacco, spruce, and strawberries. Then, they feasted on the blankets women had used to protect their crops. Those that could not get to the crops devoured laundry hanging to dry, fence posts, the handles off pitchforks, the paint off wagons, and even the wool of sheep. Aw, poor sheep. Some locusts moved into the houses and devoured barrels, cupboards, anything they could chew. The grasshoppers feasted for days, and many farmers gave up killing them with bonfires. While locust plagues are common in North America, the plague of 1874 was the worst invasion ever recorded. Number 8. Spider Crawls Out of a Woman's Ear this one makes me cringe. A 40-year-old woman identified as Lakshmi L woke up in the evening complaining of a headache accompanied by a tingling sensation in her right ear. She previously had fallen asleep in her veranda. As the irritation became unbearable, she dug her fingers into her ears, hoping to scratch, soothe, or remove whatever was bothering her. Nothing worked. She had to seek immediate medical attention at the Columbia Asia Hospital in India. Doctors undertook the normal procedure of removing foreign objects stuck in the ear. They poured a liquid medicine into her ear canal and examined it with torchlight. What they saw? shocked them. Instead of the usual stuff, leaves, ball caps, rocks, matchsticks, Legos, they saw a spider live and crawling. The video of the procedure, shot by the stunned doctors, shows the moment the spider finally crawls out. Dr. Santosh Shivaswamy, who did the procedure, acknowledged, it was rare to see a live spider moving inside someone's ear canal. If you think having a spider crawl out of your ear is bad, listen to this. A man in Australia found a huge wolf spider in his home and decided to smack it with a broom. Upon doing so, hundreds of little baby spiders spread across his floor. 
the spider he tried to squash was pregnant with babies and his kitchen floor now had not one spider, but hundreds. So what do you guys think is worse? Pulling a spider out of your ear or dealing with hundreds of baby spiders where you prepare your food? Let me know in the comments below. Number seven, tapeworm eggs and the brain. Mr. Wu had suffered severe headaches, epileptic seizures, and nausea for six months. His family members took him to the hospital for treatment. An MRI scan confirmed the presence of sacs in his brain. Dr. Yang Ming from the affiliated hospital of Zhuzhou Medical University headed the team that performed the craniotomy. They removed 30 tapeworm eggs and larvae. However, they couldn't reach all the eggs, so they scheduled follow-up treatments. Dr. Yang alleged that Mr. Yu might have consumed undercooked or uncooked pork. Yu. He further stated that if the eggs had hatched into worms, it would have resulted in severe tissue damage. Number six, big ol' tapeworm cyst. Nita Jagai, a 12-year-old girl from central India, had been suffering from seizures, weakness, and headaches for over two years. Over the last 12 months of her illness, she experienced paralysis on her right hand. Nita couldn't even pick up a glass of water or feed herself. Her father sought help from various doctors with no improvement in her condition. He heard of Dr. Shirag Solanke, a consultant neuro and spine surgeon, and took Nita to see him. After a series of tests, including an MRI scan, Dr. Shirag discovered a giant hyatid cyst inside Nita's head, which was half the size of her brain. The surgery to remove the cyst took over two and a half hours. They extracted a mass weighing 675 grams. Nita's father had to sell his wife's jewelry to pay for the surgery. Later, the couple admitted that they lived in a very dirty environment. That explains how Nita got the intestinal tapeworm. It enters the body through contaminated food with the ova of the parasites. The parasite is also spread by touching infected cats and dogs. Number five, maggot mouth. A gruesome video uploaded on YouTube documents a dentist from a dental clinic in Brazil removing live maggots from the gums of a 10 year old. Anna Carsoto, the patient in the video, had complained to her mother, Adriana, that her gums were moving. Brush your teeth, mom advised. But Anna complained that the movements were intensifying. Mom knew something was up because Anna rarely lied. She took her to the dentist who diagnosed her with oral myiasis. It's an oral condition where fruit fly lava enters the gums and begin to feed and grow. Ew, it can go on for several weeks without any symptoms. In fact, Adriana revealed that she thought Anna was joking. She couldn't see anything and her daughter didn't it seemed to be in any pain. When they started pulling out the maggots, Adriana thought she was going to be sick. Ew. She later acknowledged that Anna was very calm throughout the procedure. What a brave little girl. I would pass out. Number four, bug spray your ear. A wandering cockroach found itself stuck in a man's ear. What the man did next will shock you. The 60-year-old man from China had tried to remove the bug using toothpicks and tweezers. Okay. He failed, and after much agony, he resorted to using pesticide. Uh. The roach was dead within minutes, but it was still stuck in his ear canal. Over the course of three days, his ear became swollen and painful. Finally, the man who took matters into his own hands gave in and sought medical help. Surgeons removed a one centimeter long cockroach and captured the glorious footage. Cockroaches seek warm places when it's cold, particularly during winter. The human ear canal is especially toasty, and there is to eat. If a cockroach is jammed in your ear, don't use tweezers or bug spray, okay? If you don't want to seek medical help, the best solution is flooding the ear with clean oil. But honestly, just go to the doctor as fast as you can. Number three, centipede ear. Grant Bodie, just 14 years old, woke up one morning in excruciating pain. He also felt an itch in his ear. He reached in and pulled out a four inch centipede that was very much alive. Angela, Grant's mom, sealed the bug in a plastic bag and took her son to Saline Memorial for a checkup. Bodie had some minor abrasions in his ear canal that caused him pain. Doctors and nurses at the hospital had removed strange things from people's ears before, but none had ever encountered a centipede. During an interview, for KATV, Angela stated that they didn't know where the centipede came from, though she recalls that Bodhi had been swimming outdoors before the incident. Number two, head full of lice. A stomach-churning video uploaded on YouTube 
highlighted a severe head lice infestation. The victim was a young girl, and in the footage, her mother struggles to drive a knit comb through her dark and thick hair. When the comb breaks free, it's covered in hundreds of white eggs, known as nits. The video was filmed in a salon in Mexico that specialized in the removal of lice. D. Wright, the salon's proprietor, told Mail Online that it was one of the worst cases of lice she had ever seen. She advised parents to use a knit comb on wet hair since it's most effective. If you watched this video and your head suddenly feels itchy, here is one way to check for lice. Have someone comb your hair with a fine tooth comb. Make sure they pay close attention to your scalp. Behind your ears and around the nape of the neck. Number one, a man pulls a five foot six inch tapeworm out of his rectum. A California man, who was never identified, ate raw salmon almost every day. This is according to Dr. Kenny Bon of the University of California in San Francisco. The young man had approached him at the emergency wing, complaining of bloody diarrhea and demanded treatment for intestinal worms. Bon was skeptical about the man's request, because people often demanded treatment for worms without cause. The young man made his case by showing the doctor a five foot, six inch tapeworm he had wrapped around a toilet paper roll and brought to the hospital in a grocery bag. Blech. Ew. He told Dr. Bond that he assumed that the worm was a piece of his intestines hanging from his rectum, but after removing it, it began wiggling around. Gross. The tapeworm was an instant hit with the hospital staff. Bond admitted during a podcast that he had shown it to 40 people. You might be surprised to learn that some people swallow tapeworms as a weight loss technique. Dr. Bond said that after taking the medication, he prescribed the man might poop out a bunch of worms. Thanks for watching this terrifying countdown. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.